In this video, we're gonna talk about Grover Beach neighborhoods and spots that you may have never known about. So be sure and take a look. Well, hello there and welcome to the channel here at Central Coast Living. If this is your first time here or you're back, we are so happy to see you here. Um, my name is Renice White and my partner is John Goodell. We're both local brokers here um, on the Central Coast and we grew up here, raised our kids here and we absolutely love it. Um, but we want to tell you as much about it as we can. So if you want to know uh, what there is to do to live, work, eat, sleep and play here on the Central Coast, then you're in the right place. Um, so we're getting calls right now from um, people all over um, wanting to relocate here, um, actually leave here or just move within the county. Um, so if you are trying to get a, a feel for the area, feel free to reach out, um, subscribe to the channel, but give us a call, shoot us a text, whatever you need um, to get a hold of us while, we're, while you're researching the area. Be sure and do that because we've got your back when you're moving to the Central Coast, California. Okay, everyone, thank you for being here. I'm going to go over Grover Beach neighborhoods this time. I got a request about really kind of giving a better feel for what the neighborhoods are like. So um, I'm going to be going over a, a Google map and showing you some of the homes uh, within the map. And then I have, uh, we'll be dropping in some actual video that out and about so you can see what the neighborhoods look like in the homes and hopefully that'll help you um, as you're venturing in perhaps Grover Beach area. So what I have up so far that you're seeing is the perimeter of Grover Beach. Um, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, so as you can see, it goes over to the ocean. This is state, uh, state area. Um, and as I said, it's only a two, a uh, little over two mile perimeter. Um, so here's a little town, okay? And I've talked about Oak Park being one of the main, main streets um, that takes you up and down um, the area. So here is South Oak Park. Uh, here is um, Highway 101 right here. Uh, this is definitely the main highway, freeway, uh, pardon me, for our area along the coastline. So you'll hear that obviously Highway 1 is what I was referencing, which is um, over here, which is truly the coastline. Um, so getting back to Grover Beach, so it used to be, it was founded in the um, uh, 1800s, 1887, um, and uh, it was, I'm trying to get some information here, City of Grover Beach was, it, it was 1959, then in 1992, I remember the day that they uh, changed the name, we, we had just bought our first home, um, and it changed from Grover City to uh, Grover Beach and that was to kind of give it more of the beach feel, the name was changed. So that happened in 1992. So this is the place that apparently the tide meets the rails um, because the railroad track is here. Um, it's right alongside the uh, perimeter here. Let me get to it. They just revamped um, the Amtrak area so it's really cool. There's a little wine place that you can go to right there. Um, and you can catch the Amtrak and get to it. So it's right here, the stage. It's right here and there's a little station that would pick you up to grab it right in here. So um, there's a dispensary. <laughs> Um, which we'll talk about in one of the videos. So anyways, here we are. There's the Amtrak right here. This is the whole, this is a rail, the train tracks going alongside here, as you can see. So right here on West Grand is where you're going to, uh, right in here, they'll stop the traffic. Bells go off and, and uh, everybody's got to stop and let the train go through. So if you're living anywhere on 4th Street, if you see a house come up on 4th Street here, 
Um, this is where you're going to get a lot. I mean, I lived on 4th Street as well, and you'll get the rattling of the train and all that. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not it's not horrible, but it's just something to be aware of. So here's here's 4th Street right here, right? The train depot place is right here. This is where it stops. And then obviously this is your way into the beach. So again, as I've said, Grover Beach is one is just one of the most affordable beach seaside areas that has the gateway to um, the entrance of, of the beach. And then you can drive your car on there for five bucks for the day. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of little places to eat right here uh, on West Grand, you know, rib line. Uh, there's Spoon Trade uh, over here. This map isn't quite updated, obviously. Um, and so, you know, there's just right along here, they're trying to clean it up, make it better. There is another uh, big convention center that's supposed to be going up in here. So definitely um, that's gonna add value to Grover Beach as well. So let's get into the neighborhoods. That's what that's what we're all here for. So there are some true neighborhoods that have been revamped within Grover Beach, but to, to say there's a lot of consistency, there isn't like huge grids of neighborhoods in Grover Beach. You know, it's it, there these homes from 1950s on up. So there's little pockets within uh, Grover Beach that I'm going to kind of um, let you know about um, as you're kind of driving around, maybe get, getting to know the area. So um, again, it's it's broken up in North Grover and South Grover, and I'll go over that at the very end. So be sure and stay to that part of it. Uh, but right now, I'm going to talk to you about a neighborhood called La Serena, and that is in uh, the south side of Grover Beach. Um, it's an SNS built home. They're uh, craftsman style, um, some two story, some single story. There's um, two streets that kind of loop around um, in, in the neighborhood there. Your borderline Oceano, um, so uh, that's something to be aware of. So I'll go ahead and bring it up here on the map, but you're gonna see the, some of the footage of what the homes look like um, on, in that particular neighborhood. There's a little park right next to it, and that's um, a really sweet little park. It has a tennis court. It has a, a park that facilitates much younger children, and um, it's free, it, and there's a basketball court. So the kids that it probably is good for is probably seven and under. Uh, so that's a, a cute little spot there. Uh, for you to kind of drive past and, and see if that's a little um, uh, area that you might like. So here we are. Um, this is the subdivision right here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So we are, it's going to be off of Feral. Okay. I'm going to talk about this neighborhood. So this is dirt right here, but this is actually the next neighborhood that I'm going to talk to you about. But right here is La Serena, that means mer the mermaid. Uh, so here's the park, okay? So it gives you a good little feel here. My kids actually have little tiles there because we bought a, a new construction home here um, on, uh, uh, what street was this that we bought it on? Uh, Marbella, right here. Um, so they these have cul-de-sacs, um, as you can see. And here is where I'm talking about it borders Oceano, which is not a bad thing. It's just, um, you know, something to be aware of. It's, it's, it's more, right here is kind of the border. And then you go, you jog over the pike and then here's 17th street. Uh, so this, this now is considered Oceano. So that's kind of how our towns work. You kind of mesh into each other, as I mentioned before. Um, so going back to La Serena, cute little neighborhood. They're very well built. I really like the way these, these were built. Um, these share driveways right in this uh, on Basin Court. Uh, this road used to be really busy. Uh, they put a stop sign right here. So that helped uh, slow down the traffic. So that was huge there. But again, La Serena, they have three bedrooms, uh, three that they have a, one model that actually has a casita. So this might be a little neighborhood that you want to consider as you're venturing the area. I've gone ahead and uh, dropped some footage for you uh, for you to you know, take a look at that um, 
of what the homes look like there. And these will range in the, probably now we're going to be in the 700 range, somewhere in there. Um, maybe, yeah, you're probably not going to get under six here, uh, but very well built again um, at La Serena. Okay, so that is one. Cut out that is one of them. All right. Uh, so, okay. Now we're going to jog over just across the street here, uh, where there's dirt, <laughs> and uh, these homes are pretty awesome. Um, this builder, uh, it's called Green Park. They were um, green. They're made pretty green. They were the first that launched, um, and we've got some footage coming in right now. Uh, and that is, um, the design is also that cottagey beach um, style. They have really, really high ceilings. Um, and then they have uh, solar panels. They have radiant heating and the flooring, um, really cool concrete flooring they did in a lot of these. Um, so, and they have pavers on the, on the road that you come in. So this little pocket of homes right here, if something comes up and this design and feel suits you, um, you probably want to jump on one of these and that these are in the 700 range, high sevens. Um, they're kind of, they're just a, um, more substantially built, almost a little custom, semi-custom feel. Um, and this again is South Grover. Uh, off of 16th Street, you have access to this park, and then you'll have access to 16th Street Park. Both of them are pretty close to both uh, to this area here. So um, 16th Street, 16th Street Park is right here. This is where I raised my kids, and they were tiny. We had a house on our very first home on 16th Street. Um, so yeah, this is another little area here. And what's going to be nice again? You're going to just take um, either uh, 16th Street to get to um, Grand Avenue. Let's zoom out a little bit. So you can get to Grand Avenue and then make your way to um, the freeway. So you're gonna just get over to Grand right here. Not that far, a couple of stops. Then you hop over to Oak Park and boom, you're on your way to either North or South 101 to get to wherever you need to go, Santa Maria, San Luis Obispo County. So that is Green Park. Um, we dropped some footage for you, so you gotta feel for that. So staying on the South side of Grover Beach, as I was saying, there's a North and a South, We're on the South side. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things as you're venturing around. Um, so here's South 4th. Um, just take note that the streets go in numbers um, from the west to the east. So for example, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, here you are, here's 4th Street, here's 5th Street, here is 6th Street, 7th Street, 8th Street, 9th Street, so on. So as you're going to make your way over to Oak Park, um, that's how you kind of identify the streets. Um, and they go all the way from the north to the south um, in those numbers. So if your address is nine something something, you're gonna be uh, Ninth Street and then crossing whatever street there is. So as you can see over here, we have Mentone, um, Trueville, Seabright, um, and then you've got Manhattan, Long Branch, uh, and then we've got Rockaway and uh, all these streets over here. And here, of course, is West Grand. Um, so just over here, they're just all super different. There's no consistency, really. It's just um, some of these are just um, 50 years, like I said, built in the 50s. Um, and then there's a rebuild right next to it. Uh, some. Uh, there's no consistency in the sidewalks, for example. The city's really working on it, but it's just kind of that, you know, up and coming beach little area. All right, now we are in South Grover Beach, California. So I'm just gonna show you how eclectic and different this um, area is. I'm a Grover Beach girl. I was raised on Manhattan Street, went to Grover Beach Elementary. This is my stomping ground when I grew up. So what's so interesting about Grover Beach is like right here, you can buy a little uh, fixer upper 
and just look over here. We're, we're going to turn on 3rd Street. The tr railroad tracks are right there, and guess what? The beach is right over there. So you can get something for $562,000 and um, fix it up, and you're literally walking distance to the beach. What's also super interesting, or what you need to be aware of, is that corner uh, unit there. Grover Beach is very interested in getting mixed use development. What that means is you can have businesses commercial and then you can also have residential um, and businesses. So it's it's super interesting. They're beautiful buildings. Um, so that's something that if you're a developer, a person coming to Grover Beach, you need to look at those opportunities. Now, also, as you are venturing into Grover Beach, you need to be aware that there are distilleries in the area within residential. What am I talking about? This property right here. But look at how beautiful it is. Look at how clean it is. Um, you know, check with the um, uh, local police department on what's going on with it. I don't think that has brought, that's only bringing revenue to the city of Grover Beach. Uh, a lot of things going on with that. So it's super exciting. I just want to give you a feel. So let's do a turnaround. So you can be next to something like this warehouse building. And then you've got your distillery. Then you've got mixed use, a beautiful building there. There's that little, these two little corner Grover Beach, typical beach cottages that built. And you know, there you are right next to the beach. So just take note of that. Okay, so just checking in, making sure that um, you're liking this information. Please be sure and give us a like, leave us a comment. More importantly, let us know what it is you want to know about. We're working really hard to bring you some good information about San Luis Obispo, the Central Coast area, about the neighborhoods, about everything that we can. So leave us your comments, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much. Okay, so this is where I was standing in that video. And so there's that building that I referenced, that little place. And here is the dispensary um, that I was referencing. Um, and then Urban Leaf, I believe it is. And then over here is actually, there is actually a distillery, a little uh, uh, place that's made uh, Portuguese vodka in this building. This is a gorgeous building. If you ever have a chance to go there, you should, you should go do that. Um, I'll probably do a video about places to go in Grover pretty soon here. So, um, and here's the, the train tracks I was talking about. And so here is that little little um, place that I was referencing for the, um, you know, for the uh, pickup, the little depot that we have here. And here's a little winery place right here. So again, uh, so this would be Highway 1. And look at this, you're right, right, right next to the beach. Here you are, you're right on the sand. So as I was mentioning in the video, for you to get something, you know, right here, uh, you know, like that little fixer that I no noted here, you would jump on 4th Street and then just jog right over. Um, I just think that's just super incredible. Um, so anywhere in here, you're just going to get older homes. Some are going to be a little revamped, some are not. Um, so, you know, check out South Grover. That might be an area for you. Okay, so now we're really down in South Grover. Um, and here is South 13th Street. So, okay, we're at fourth. Now we've made our way to 13th. Now, there's little pockets here. So um, here's the Strawberry Fields Okuis. Very, very good. You need to go there and get you some strawberries when you're in town. Um, so right here, uh, there's a there's new built that just went in here. Two story townhouses. They sold in the six and seven hundred range. Uh, you know, uh, Tuscan style. Um, two like I said, two story, real tight builds. Um, probably a five thousand square foot lot line um, and two story. Um, so that went up. So that's what you see in Grover. Very very rarely um, are you going to see huge, well, you know, huge subdivisions. San Luis Obispo has a growth ordinance of uh, the county. So our builds here um, take a bit. So, and then you have something like this on Aberdeen. Let's zoom in a little bit, see if I can give you a feel for that. So these are little condos with little rooftops, um, you know, kind of tucked away right in here. So it really is kind of getting to know what spots of Grover you're comfortable with. And yes, you can get a getaway, second home, beach home, um, no problem. Primary residence, you know, you can get family homes, you know, if you're a single professional. 
and want to be by the beach and not pay that high ticket dollar you know that's it so this so this would be just a little bit of the south grover area okay so as we go down the pike is the street that actually defines uh uh, separates Grover Beach from Oceano. So I'll zoom out a little bit just to kind of show you the aerial there. So as, ooh, that's too far. So yeah, so here's the line, right? Here's Oceano. So now we're going in, this is the pike that does separates that area. So when you're venturing into Oceano, I'll do another video about that, but this is, these are areas that you might want to consider that are, are not so into Oceano. Um, for whatever reason, if you want to take a look at that. Now, this little Golden West Park area, which is off of the pike, um, these are little twin homes. We have this type of product, this type of couple of neighborhoods like this. So just to give you a feel for that, you know, there are two little twin homes here. They're older, going to be lower roofs. Uh, but, you know, you can get something in the fours for this. You have to be 55 and older here. Um, and they're mostly some are updated, some are not. You just, you know, just some of those are just hit and miss depending on what's available when you're looking. But there's kind of little sweet spots like that um, also that Grover Beach offers. So just be aware of that as well. Just trying to give you a feel of what that ha what you ha what we have here. Okay, so now we're off of the pike. We're going up north of Oak Park. And now there's little pockets again, just like I was saying, right here on Driftwood. It's a cul-de-sac. These are older homes. Um, you're going to see, uh, you know, their twin homes over here too. Um, very rarely does anything come up over here, but as I'm saying that right now, something probably will. Uh, and then you move along over here and you've got like this street, um, you've got Costa Bella, um, sorry, it, this little neighborhood here, so I believe Costa Bella, because it's by that park. But if we zoom in again, here you are off of Oak Park and let me get over here. And you come into this neighborhood. And as you can see, see they're, they're more stucco, much newer. They're built in the eighties, uh, tile roofs. So th this is another little Oak, you know, area off of Oak Park. So off of Oak Park on the south side, you have these little pockets that um, you might want to venture in and see if any of these would suit you. Um, Monaco Court's another little good one. Um, again, a lot of people kind of stay here, uh, but just something for you to look at. See, these are um, more stucco built um, and this little Craftsman style one that's very similar to SNS Homes. Um, so again, this, this, is, this is a possibility for you here in Grover um, on the south side. So it's, you know, it's got some good um, curb appeal. And so yeah, just take a look at that and see if that, you know, that's something that you, you would like. Okay, now we're still in South Grover. This is where the Grover Beach Elementary is. Um, go ahead and do your research on that. I'll do another thing, a video on the schools. But within, sprinkled within these areas, you're gonna have apartments, you're going to have um, some duplexes, some cottages, like I said before. So here is South Grover. Again, we're going to go to uh, West Grand right here. Um, so you kind of have a good feel for that. Now this is, going, this is elevated down as um, we've shown you in the video as you're going down Oak Park. So we have ele elevation on the north side of um, Grover Beach, and then you uh, tend to level out on South Oak Park um, and South Grover Beach. So that's how that works. So you're probably not gonna, you're not gonna get, you'll get um, maybe a peak of the ocean down here. Our little place had a little peak of the ocean because you're just too level uh, to, um, you know, sea level. And up here on the north side, that's what's so appealing. And I've got some footage coming for you on that of what you can actually find in, in North Grover, which is super exciting. So let's let's back up here a little bit and go to um, the north side of Grover and take a look at that. So that would be all of this perimeter right here. Okay, there's the 101, all of this, okay. So as we're making our way up the streets from West Grand right here, um, 
this is what you're gonna see. Okay, so here we are in Grover Beach, California, and I wanted to get you out here to show you what it looks like in Grover Beach and what the possibilities are. So over here, you have this little beach bungalow. Um, so that's gonna be built in the 1950s, 60s, 70s throughout the area. And then um, you're walking along here and you have your neighbor that's revamped that little beach house. And then, Tuscan Mediterranean rooftop home and an ocean view from the top because on this side of Grover, which I've talked about in the videos off of 4th Street, the elevation goes up high. So this is where you can catch beautiful views here from the ocean. So this one, this is what you got in Grover. You're going to have a beach up at the, on the right hand side of it, as you can see, is a little, you know, you have little roofs. Another revamped little beach bungalow, and then another one, and then an older style one. So as we're coming down here, what I also want to tell you is on the north side of Grover Beach is you're going to be able to um, buy on this side, and this is what's super exciting, and this is what I love about Grover Beach. I feel liberal in the gym. is Highway 1. That's the Monarch Butterfly Fuel, the Eucalyptus, and guess what? You see that peak of the ocean right there? That's a possibility here in Grover without the high ticket price. So I want you to make you aware of that. We're going to see some more neighborhoods. So let's go. Okay, so now we're going to go on the north side as, as I'm talking uh, to you about the area. And um, this is where we're going to get the elevation, as I mentioned. Um, now we're on 4th Street. This is going to get you closer to the beach, you know, being able to have quicker access. So literally up here um, off of 4th Street, if you're on this side, you're going to have to jog over 4th Street and this is a busy, busy road. So um, what's nice if you're in this area of Grover Beach on the north side is you're going to be able to have access to all of this quite quickly, which is, um, you know, CalFresh, um, that's a nice little store. All this is a huge little um, uh, infrastructure uh, place to come and shop. The CVS uh, Rite Aid is over here, I believe. Um, yeah, Rite Aid is over here. You just have every, there's a little bagel place over here, or not the bagel, I think that's gone now. We have Starbucks, but there's a, a little place right here, to, just kind of little shoppy things. Um, and then over here's the prime outlets, which is huge. So you're really close to everything, you know, gas station, car wash, there's McDonald's, there's Coco's, a um, little place to eat and another shell station, um, things of that nature. So, you know, good, good things available right up the street if you're right on 4th Street. So again, I mean, right on uh, North Grover. So again, it just, it, you just kind of have to drive around but this is considered North Grover. So we're gonna drop some footage so you can see what it's like driving down um, North Grover, uh, north to North Grover on 4th Street so you can get a feel for the traffic. Um, and then this is where it gets really fun. This is where we have the elevation. Um, you need to decide which side of 4th Street you wanna go and how far away you wanna be from the beach um, and get the ocean view potential. So Newport is probably one of the, <laughs> the street that's gotten completely re revamped um, recently and it's gorgeous. You're, you're driving down Newport here and um, this is probably the old street. Yeah, um, uh, we'll get you some footage. As, well, I'll drop some footage right now so you can see what Newport looks like now uh, and what Grover Beach is uh, intending to do. So when you get these streets revamped, that's obviously gonna bring more value to your property, right? So when, what's cool about uh, Newport, is you, you start driving down here on a clear, beautiful day and you literally see the ocean on a lot of these streets as you're um, heading toward west, towards um, uh, Forest Street and obviously the beach. So on these streets, we're gonna go ahead and um, show you a little bit of footage right now and kind of give you a little bit better feel of what the possibility is on the north side of Grover Beach. 
Okay, so where we were at is Park View Avenue right here. Ocean View Avenue is right here. That's the last street before you end um, the, any more access off of Oak Park for um, homes. I actually sold this home right here on the corner and it got completely revamped and they have an ocean view from here. Um, so yes, you want to check out this name area if you would it's called north grover beach um these streets as you saw in that footage has the opportunity to give you um, quicker access to the beach without crossing fourth street um as you saw that footage of the street and then you're able to literally get over here and walk over and be on the sand within minutes so that is pretty exciting um Hopefully this helps you out a little bit to get a better feel for what the properties look like and what opportunities you may have. Of course, timing is everything when you're when you're looking. It's going to depend on what's on the market. But now you kind of have an idea. So if you reach out and you're saying to whoever you're talking to or trying to get a lay of the land or what's available, it's like what properties are where and where you want to land. Um, you know will help if you can if you know what kind of criteria you want what kind of design what kind of architectural thing or if you want to do a rebuild or if you're looking for somebody to maybe get a tear down and and do something that you would like with a rooftop um things of that nature grover beach is is very open to so many things so there's so much opportunity so um you know grover beach is a little hidden gem so we need to take a look at it for sure okay, so the only way that we can help you find that sweet spot here in san Luis Obispo county on the central coast is you've got to reach out you got to give us a call shoot us a text give us an email whatever you need to do day evening weekends it does not matter because we've got your back when you're moving to the central coast california and until the next video we'll catch you later Thank you.